a quantum level fight between Boeing and SpaceX Starlink. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we're coming to the end of a little bit of fireside. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking space, SpaceX, Starlink, Linux, all kinds of great tech stuff. So today we're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink and their foe, Boeing. We know that Elon Musk rescued, in big air quotes, a couple of astronauts that Boeing put up into space that they couldn't get back with their ship. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna get into that. Today, we're gonna be talking about quantum and quantum entanglement and theory, but also the use case for quantum entanglement and using it on orbit for super, super secure communications. I talked to you guys about this in the past and I said, you know, I really do believe that eventually there's going to be a secondary internet, an internet that's basically on orbit, not ground-based. The only data coming back to the ground would be the request results, let's say. Um, to do that, there's a bunch of things that need to be done. We need to have a NOC or a network operations center in space. That takes a lot of power, so it'll probably be nuclear powered instead of solar. There's a bunch of things. And I went over a lot of possibilities on past videos as well as the JC Live show that I do. So anyways, I'm gonna get into an article that I was reading. I wanna give you some of the backstory so you get an understanding, and then I'll give you my commentary on it, but then I wanna hear from you down below. So whatever your thoughts are, what do you think about this, um, put it down there, and if you're shy, put an emoji. That would be fine, too. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, throw it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Share it with your community. That would be very, very helpful. And if you wanna give back to the channel, there's a little thank you button down there. You click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better, much better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific videos, I have about 465 that I've put together in the last 48 months just for you. Click over here, not yet. Click over here, I will put a link to a playlist with all of those SpaceX Starlink, helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and of course the why behind all of it because this channel is about what? The why, always about the why. Anyways, let's get into this article. Quantum tech takes to the stars. Quantum communication is on the verge of transforming how we transmit information, offering unprecedented security routed in the bizarre but powerful principle of quantum mechanics. Leading this charge is Boeing, in collaboration with HRL Laboratories with an ambitious project, the Quantum Software Defined Small Sat or Q4S. The Power of Entanglement. The Q4S satellite is designed to demonstrate something that's never been achieved in space before. Quantum entanglement itself is a strange but proven phenomena where two particles become so deeply connected that changing the state of one instantly affects the other, even if they are on opposite sides of the world. It's as close to science fiction as real science gets. A leap towards global quantum networks. Entanglement swapping takes this a step further. It allows particles that have never interacted to become entangled through a third-party interaction. This is essential for creating large, scalable quantum networks that can operate across vast distances. Across the world, crazy. If Q4S successfully proves this in orbit, it would be a massive leap towards building a secure quantum network in space. Built-in security that can't be hacked. Why does this matter? I'm glad you asked. Because quantum communications are virtually unhackable. Any attempt to intercept or tamper with the data immediately changes the quantum state, flagging the breach in real time. That's a game changer for secure data transfer, especially in military, government, and eventually civilian applications. Beyond security, precision, and performance. 
The implications go beyond security. Quantum technology can also synchronize sensors around the world extremely precisely, paving the way for advances in weather prediction, navigation systems, scientific research, and much more. Boeing's long game in defense. Boeing's role in this project puts it in a strong position to secure future defense contracts. The U.S. Department of Defense, or the DOD, is shifting its strategy towards smaller, cheaper, and faster to deploy satellite constellations, moving away from the reliance of massive, expensive spacecrafts. If Q4S proves its capabilities, it could be the first of many quantum satellites forming a new kind of orbital infrastructure. The start of something big. Though this is just a test mission, the potential is enormous. Q4S could be the start of something much bigger. A space-based quantum secure communication network that redefines how we protect and transmit information. So, I love this stuff. I think quantum mechanics, quantum theory, I think the whole thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. And what they're doing here, what Boeing is doing, it's to compete with SpaceX Starlink because they know what SpaceX has been doing. They know that SpaceX has been getting a lot of military contracts, contracts that they, Boeing, would have gotten in the past, but they're not getting. So they're kind of split almost 50-50 or 60-40, 60 more for SpaceX and 40 for Boeing. So Boeing's trying to do something, let's say, revolutionary. And once again, I talked to you guys about this and I do believe that eventually there will be an internet too, let's call it, a sat-based internet that will happen. Now, what is it for? Maybe it's only for military use. Maybe it's for the dark web, so to speak. Who knows what they're going to use it for, but it will be end-to-end -end secure. It's kind of like the WhatsApp or something like that, where it's end-to-end -end encryption, but without meta spying on everything you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So the quantum entanglement really is what sets it apart. And the reason being, it's almost like a quarter flipping heads. And when data changes here, the data changes over there also. So if you flip a quarter from heads to tails, this piece of data also flips to tails and it could be on the other side of the planet, okay? They are entangled and it happens like spontaneously. So it is really interesting and that's what makes it so, so secure because you will immediately know when something has changed, when anyone has tried to alter anything, when anyone has tried to tamper with this, anything, you're going to know immediately. Now, this whole Boeing Q4S deal, they're gonna be small satellites, okay, which is really good. Once again, what NASA is saying or what the military is saying, they don't wanna go with these just huge spacecraft anymore. They want to go with these small. And I think that's a good idea because they're easier to get on orbit. You can have more of them. And if one gets destroyed by the enemy, let's say, it doesn't matter because they all form this mesh network of entanglement and it doesn't make a difference if you destroy one, two or three or 10 or a thousand. If you have thousands of them on orbit, it doesn't make any much of a difference. So I think that this is something that is fundamental in the progression of security with networks and with satellite communication. I think it is a really big thing. And if you guys remember about two or three videos ago, I spoke about some of the things that SpaceX was doing on orbit with their satellites when it comes to security. And one of the things that they were doing was this post-quantum encryption quantum encryption as they called it, but it's actually post-quantum. It's basically using a cryptographic algorithm, quantum base, that allows it to withstand attacks from quantum computers of the future. So it is hardening themselves, or they are hardening their satellites and their satellite signal now for these quantum computers of the future. You following that? And what's really nice about it is they're using this company, I think it's called Q or, yeah, it's QU Secure. And it's a software-based thing that uses these, let's say, encrypted keys, quantum-based encrypted keys to allow this end-to-end -end encryption to happen. And you don't need actual hardware. 
There's no new hardware needed. It's a software-based thing that happens, a layer, let's call it. And that is really nice because all of those satellites, the 7,100 plus satellites that Elon Musk has for SpaceX, Starlink up there, they'll all be able to use this just simply by uploading new software. Once again, this software layer to what they're currently using. And they've been testing this stuff already and it works. So this is really, really big. Now remember, you also have SpaceX and their Star Shield, which is basically Starlink, but for the military. So you have Starlink, which is like residential and business, and then you have Star Shield, which is operated, let's say, still by Elon Musk SpaceX, but it's for the military. And the military can kind of do whatever they want with it. And once again, it has that military-based encryption, but even better, that quantum um, encryption. That is what they're doing without having to use quantum entanglement hardware. You following all that? So I think all in all, this is really, really a big thing. And having this, they call it QKD or quantum key distribution is a really, really nice way of going into the future with quantum. Because now all of a sudden you have the ability to have that security without having to have the hardware on orbit. That's a big thing because you don't have to make those changes or launch new satellites. While Boeing and their Q4S is their first, let's say, test, I think it's going to work because it's proven on the ground and most likely it'll work in space also. So having these particles being able to just flip and flop and do it across the world simultaneously, let's say, is a massive, massive thing when it comes to end-to-end -end encryption or encryption in general, any type of secure communication. So I think that if Boeing's Q4S does make it through, let's say that initial build, and it proves itself to be worthy, I think what will end up happening is the military will use both. They'll use SpaceX and they'll also use Boeing. I think that's always a good way to do it because you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket because if there ends up being some type of threat and the, let's say the Russian or the Chinese military are able to crack what Elon Musk has put together with SpaceX and Star Shield, well, it'd be good to have a fallback, right? Redundancy of Boeing. Once again, redundancy is next to godliness. If you don't have redundancy, you have nothing. As we always say, two is one, and one is none. So you really need to have redundancy of everything. And anyone that's in naval or in aviation knows redundancy is everything. If you don't have it, or of course in space too, there's going to be issues. So anyways, having that network and having two of them, once again, one from Boeing and one from SpaceX, it's just good business when it comes to military, right? So for me, this is a really big thing. What do you guys think about quantum, quantum entanglements? What do you think about this quantum security that Boeing is putting out with their Q4S? What do you think about SpaceX Starlink and their Star Shield and what they're doing with their QKD or their quantum key distribution, doing it on a software level? What do you think? Down below, I would love to hear from you. I know it's a little bit geeky today, but it's fun. If you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And, and head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch, my shirts, my tees, my books, and everything else. If there's something there you like, please pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay quantum secure, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. 